Hello, steak sandwich. Yes. All right. Now we have done the uh, croque monsieur with the ham, pork. Then we've done the Reuben with the turkey, turkey. Now we're gonna do the steak sandwich, my style. Here, let's start. Wine tomatoes from New Zealand, okay. Basilico basil, beautiful. A mayonnaise. <laughs> this is habanero sauce, very spicy. Whole grain mustard, thyme, garlic in the jacket, basically. Artisan bread. I. It is, doesn't look very conventional, but you know, this is how I like it. I think this is crunchy. I baked it already up and um, beautiful. It's sourdough. And then we have pepper, salt, and one very important ingredient is my homemade balsamic glaze, balsamic maple honey truffle dust glaze. Made it yesterday, very easy to make. For our dressing, we take some mayonnaise. Now quantity, I pretty much leave it up to you. I think for one sandwich, you don't need too much, but here we go. It's always better to have more than not enough, I feel. And then we take our whole grain mustard. This one is from England. You can take other one, you can take German one or whatever you want to do. You start mixing this together. Oops. Just to spice it up. I like something spicy. It gives it a nuance of spice. So there we go. This should be plenty for everybody to enjoy. Okay, all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on our bread and put it in the pan. Nothing more to it, just to give it a little flavor. Don't let it burn, don't let it burn, it's already crunchy. I like it if it's still liquid, so these are ready to go. Okay, now, here's the beef. Where's the beef? Here it is. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put pepper on your board. You're gonna roll the beef inside of it, okay. Salt. Okay, lots of salt. Make sure you coat it everywhere. That includes this part. Okay, butter, olive oil, boom. Garlic in the jacket, thyme. Yeah, if we have time, we can put some thyme, yeah? All right, let it sink in. Let it give some flavor. Okay, in goes the beef. Hear that? Very nice. Here we're gonna sear it on all sides and when we do that we always cover it cover it cover it and cover it keep on feeding it the butter and the oil keep feeding it yeah there you go okay beef is seared beef goes in this container now and we're going to put it in the oven at 200 degrees let's say two three minutes if you want it quite raw, a little bit more if you want it medium, and then if you want it well done, then you leave it in there 10 minutes probably. We got it. I already cut a few pieces because I couldn't wait. I like it like this, you see? This for me is medium well. Okay? And that is the way I think it should go. But if you want it medium, then you can cook it a little longer. Oh! There you go. Mayo sauce that we showed you at the beginning and you just spread it on your bread here. All right, the salad is going right on there. Okay, just like so. You can put two pieces, three pieces, and if you like more salad than beef, you can also put more. Beautiful. Hell of a thing to eat. And another piece right here. And then these end cuts. All right, we're gonna use our hands again. Tomato, tomato, three, okay. Then we're gonna put some fresh basilico basil, like so. All right, and now, last but not least, my beautiful homemade balsamic glaze, maple honey. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just drizzle it like this. You see? 
as much as you want. Gives it a nice flavor. Voila! That was it. Now we cover the whole thing. Nicely so. Oh, I can't wait. You see this? You see this? Mmm. Love it. Very, very good. Wow. If you want it well done, up to you. Or more medium, up to you. This is brilliant. This artisan bread, sourdough, salad tomato, just the, the mayonnaise and um, mustard mixture with a little bit of habanero sauce, basil, and the balsamic glaze. Mm. Mm. Man, this is good. Enjoy it. Please do. Wonderful. Messy. It's a sandwich. And a nice glass of Torontes from Argentina. Fantastic. Enjoy. Thank you very much. See you next time. Yeah.